Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about incremental model in the subject of software engineering. We are actually discussing about process models from past two videos, right? So in the first video, we have discussed about the process model. Next, we have discussed about the waterfall model. Now we are going to discuss about the th uh, second process model that is the incremental model actually this incremental model will come under evolutionary model in under evolutionary we have incremental and iterative models okay in this video i'll explain about incremental in the next i will explain about the iterative models got it so what do you mean by uh, increments you know already right so when you will be using this is your requirements are divided into multiple modules you are dividing your requirements into multiple modules okay for example again let us take the example of constructing the house when you are constructing the house you need material which is required for electricity you need material which is required for plumbing you need material required for painting you need material required for constructing so you have different different modules right so paints uh, and all will come under painting module pipes and taps showers or washroom tiles and all will come under plumbing and under construction or under electricity all the wires uh, switchboards switches uh, sockets all will come under the electricity like that you are dividing your requirements into multiple modules okay and each module in each and every module you will be doing the analysis design code and testing okay so actually usually what we will do analysis design coding testing we will be directly doing right but here instead of doing that for example we have taken electricity so under electricity what do we have we have uh, things like uh, what is the motto of electric electrician when we are constructing the house he have to provide the uh, correct current supply and also everything he has to take care so what electrician will do first he will ask uh, how many sockets you want per room and which kind of sockets you want uh, which kind of switches you want uh, 20 amps 16 amps so like that he will ask all the information based on that he will do the analysis so everybody is doing their specific their separate separate actions okay got it so with diagram i'll show so you it is worry. used in case of software which is having less features it is used in our day-to-day -day applications for example banking and here we require less amount of manpower since we are dividing the work okay and now here actually in incremental we have two models as i said in the process models video only incremental and rad model okay incremental first one and the second one is the rad model rad is nothing but the rapid application development i'll tell you bo about both of them don't worry so here in incremental model what you're doing is let me zoom in more okay fine in uh, the first one in the incremental model what you will do is first you will have the core product core product is nothing but the initial um, basic software okay this is the basic software this is the increment one you will have all the four steps in each and every increment in the second increment in the third increment and so on up to n in all the increments you will have the four steps okay so the first step is analysis design code testing all this four will happen in the core product core product is nothing but the basic software which you develop initially and uh, for this code products we keep on adding the requirements continuously according to our requirement and we will be enhancing it got it so the first increment is called as the core product simply you can remember in that way this is the basic software okay and for this software in number of increments we will be uh, you know sequentially adding requirements and making it a complete product that is what happens in incremental model simple okay this is about incremental very short next let us move to the rad model rapid application development of course this is also going to be very short but why do you use why do we have two different things here is when you are having short period of time when you want to complete it complete sorry uh, when you want to complete the project faster within 60 to 90 days suppose then you will go for this rad model rapid rapid itself says right fast application development when you want to develop the application really very fastly you go with this rad model so here what is happening actually 
in incremental in the top in here what we did analysis design code testing all the four steps are done in each and every increment right it will take time because in the first increment you have to do the four steps then you have to again uh, see what are the requirements implemented and what are the additional requirements then you have to do the second increment and all but here what we are doing is requirement gathering analysis is done only once okay and once you do the analysis after doing the analysis phase we are dividing the project into number of teams okay so again in our building uh, constructing the house example one instead of giving the complete responsibility to the electrician what we are doing we are only analyzing the tasks that are to be done by the electrician and we are just giving him the task okay so we are assigning a team design build and this team will design and build the software and give it to the next and also deploy and this also will build and give it to the next so that process will continue okay and all the pro uh, process together they will come and they will deploy the project okay so this is the difference between the incremental and rad incremental will take some time in case if you want a project in less uh, period of time you can go with the rad model but incremental or rad whatever you want to choose you can go with these models only when you are clear about the uh, requirements okay requirements are well defined in that case you can go okay so and also requires less manpower both incremental model rad model both requires less manpower got it this is about the incremental models don't get confused in incremental only we have incremental and rad subtypes got it so this is all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end and one more thing i forgot to tell you in rad model we actually require more manpower okay because we are completing it in short period of time right so this is all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic